Hello everyone, this is my third attempt today at trying to get this video because I'm new to this recording sort of software for the Android. Um, I am here today to show you how to install anything that you want to use like iOS, um, any sort of hacked theme and that isn't hacked for Nova Launcher so any um, icon sets or icon bundles or anything that anyone's brought out onto your Android device. device I generally use um, Nova Launcher because I just don't really like Go Launcher. I, I've never really liked Go Launcher to be honest. It's you know all the ads and it's it's quite lim. I feel it's quite limited as well. I I like how sort of simple, straightforward, and fresh Nova Launcher is. Especially you know you've got the little add-ons like being able to change the badges, etc. Well, not change them, but you can change the colour to match any theme, and it's just pretty straightforward and simple. So is why I am here. Um, I know that a lot of people wanted to see this tutorial. I did do a picture tutorial but obviously it is a lot easier just to fire up your computer and follow this as you're going so this is my third attempt like I said so I'm going to um, go straight into it and show you what you're going to need for this to work. So um, you can have any file manager that you want but if you want to copy me as I'm doing it like down to a T, then you want to download the ES File Explorer um, file manager, which is this one, and you also need Nova Launcher and Nova Launcher Prime. So if you just type it in, you'll see that there's two that you need to download. I'm not 100% certain if you do need Prime, you could attempt this if you like with just Nova Launcher, but. Um, you know, I have both because it sort of unlocks quite a few limited options and stuff. So, once you have all that installed, you're ready to go straight into getting the theme that you want. I'm going to be using a free theme from my site just so that you can follow without having to obviously pay or anything like that. So, I'm going to try and I'm going to be, do uh, this one Pastel Dreams. So, download Pastel Dreams. So you want to make sure that's an iOS theme. You know, that's, that's, I can't sort of stress that enough. If you try and download an Android theme, it's not going to be, it's not going to work. So when you press the download button, you, if you haven't got default set already, you will be asked the option of what you want to do with that file. I've got my default set already, so it's not very helpful. So um, you want to open it with Dropbox. So once you have opened it with Dropbox, you should be presented with a screen like this. It says um, preview not available. I think it's just because Dropbox doesn't really do that sort of thing with um, zip files. So you want to press open with. I've got my um, default set again. When it asks you, open it with, I think it's ES zip viewer. So you want to open it with that one and it will take you to this screen. So if I open up this Pastel Dreams folder, everything is laid out as if it was to work with a jailbroken iDevice. You've got your icons bundles folder, which is one you're going to need. So I'm going to long press to select it. And also your wallpapers. Obviously go for the higher resolution wallpapers. Because this is an older theme, it has only got iPhone 5 size wallpapers. So I'm just going to use those for this, the purpose of this video. Then you want to, once you've selected those two things, you want to press extract choose path and then underneath that where it says SD card press where it says SD card and then you want to wherever you want to save your um, themes to so what I'm going to do now is press the plus under the SD card path and press uh, and type in themes and press OK and then open the theme folder and then type in the name of this theme so Press OK, open the Pastel Dreams folder and press OK. So your, your path should say SD card, themes, Pastel Dreams, and then press OK again. And it'll extract that, the, just those two folders into that um, location. So now I'm going to back out and find that themes folder that I just made. It's there, Pastel Dreams. And you should have these two folders in there. So what you want to do now is long press to select it. And the icon bundles folder rename to 
it can be anything you want but I would suggest sticking to names just so that it doesn't get confusing in the future when you download quite a few things. So I'm going to call it Pack of Beans Icons and then Long Press the Wallpapers, rename Castle Dreams Wallpapers. Okay, so now I've done that. To change your icons so I'm going to use a icon which hasn't been seen yet just to show you so what you want to do is long press the icon that you want to change press edit at the top select the icon and then go to gallery and scroll down until you find the pastel dreams icons folder which is here and all of these are the icons so now you want to look for the icon that you want to change it for you can choose any icon that you want I'm going to stick to what it is if I can find it there is Evernote so the elephant icon don't touch anything other than OK at this screen let us keep that box around the icon as it is no cropping or anything Just press OK and then press the tick and your icons change so now we have the pastel dreams one so, um, I only change my home screen icons simply because it takes me, you know, five to ten minutes to do each time I change. I want to change a theme. If you end up going into all this, you are looking at probably an hour every time you want to change theme, and it's just not worth it. You know, just change your home screen; it's completely fine. So that is how um, you use any iOS theme on a Android device running Nova Launcher. If you like this video, um, please give me a thumbs up. If you need any help, leave a comment in the comments section below. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!